chapters one hundred and thirty one through one hundred and forty of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter one hundred and thirty one vignette this chapter is without vignette both in the papyrus of new and in the saite recension text the chapter of having existence nigh unto ra the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith i am that god ra who shineth in the night every being who followeth in his train shall have life in the following of the god thoth and he shall give unto him the risings of horus in the darkness the heart of osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant is glad because he is one of those beings and his enemies have been destroyed by the divine princes i am a follower of ra and i have received his iron weapon i have come unto thee o my father ra and i have advanced to the god shu i have cried unto the mighty goddess i have equipped the god hue and i alone have removed the nept god from the path of ra i am a khu and i have come to the divine prince at the bounds of the horizon i have met and i have received the mighty goddess i have raised up thy soul in the following of thy strength and my soul liveth through thy victory and thy mighty power it is i who give commands in speech to ra in heaven homage to thee o great god in the east of heaven let me embark in thy boat o ra let me open myself out in the form of a divine hawk let me give my commands in words let me do battle in my sekhem let me be master under my vine let me embark in thy boat o ra in peace and let me sail in peace to the beautiful amentet let the god tem speak unto me saying wouldst thou enter therein the lady the goddess mehen is a million of years yea two million years in extent and dwelleth in the house of ert and nifert and in the lake of a million years the whole company of the gods move about among those who are at the side of him who is the lord of divisions of places and i say on every road and among these millions of years is ra the lord and his path is in the fire and they go round about behind him and they go round about behind him chapter one hundred and thirty two vignette the deceased standing before a house and holding a long staff in his hand in the brocklehurst papyrus the soul of the deceased in the form of a human headed bird is seen hovering over a house by the side of which is a tree text the chapter of causing a man to come back to see his house upon earth the osiris ani saith i am the lion god coming forth with extended strides i have shot arrows and i have wounded the prey i have shot arrows and i have wounded the prey i am the eye of horus and i pass through the eye of horus at this season i have arrived at the furrows let the osiris ani advance in peace chapter one hundred and thirty three vignette the god ra hawk-headed and having upon his head the sun's disc encircled with a serpent seated upon a throne in a boat in his right hand he holds a sceptre and in the left the emblem of life above him is the legend ra in his shrine before him but outside the boat stands nebseni who maketh adoration to ra each day with both hands raised in adoration text the book of making perfect the khu which is to be recited on the day of the month the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith ra riseth in his horizon 
and his company of the gods follow after him the god cometh forth out of his hidden habitations and food falleth out of the eastern horizon of heaven at the word of the goddess nut who maketh plain the paths of ra whereupon straightway the prince goeth round about lift up then thyself o thou ra who dwellest in thy divine shrine draw thou into thyself the winds inhale the north wind swallow thou the skin of thy net on the day wherein thou breathest right and truth thou separatest the divine followers and thou sailest in thy boat to nut the divine princes march onwards at thy word thou takest count of thy bones thou gatherest together thy members thou settest thy face towards the beautiful amentet and thou comest being renewed each day behold thou art that image of gold and thou dost possess the splendours of the discs of heaven and art terrible thou comest being renewed each day hail the horizon rejoiceth and there are shouts of joy in the rigging of thy boat when the gods who dwell in the heaven see the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant they ascribe unto him as his due praises which are like unto those ascribed unto ra the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant is a divine prince and he seeketh the ureret crown of ra and he the only one is strong in good fortune in that supreme body which is of those divine beings who are in the presence of ra the osiris nu is strong both upon earth and in the underworld and the osiris nu is strong like unto ra every day the osiris nu shall not tarry and he shall not lie without motion in this land for ever being doubly beautiful he shall see with his two eyes and he shall hear with his two ears rightly and truly rightly and truly the osiris nu is like unto ra and he setteth in order the oars of his boat among those who are in the train of nu he doth not tell that which he hath seen and he doth not repeat that which he hath heard in the secret places hail let there be shouts of joy to the osiris nu who is of the divine body of ra as he journeyeth over nu and who propitiateth the ka of the god with that which he loveth the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief is a hawk the transformations of which are mighty or manifold rubric this chapter shall be recited over a boat four cubits in length and made of green porcelain on which have been painted the divine sovereign chiefs of the cities and a heaven with its stars shall also be made and thus thou shalt have made ceremonially pure by means of natron and incense and behold thou shalt make an image of ra in yellow colour upon a new plaque and set it at the bows of the boat and behold thou shalt place an image of the ku which thou dost wish to make perfect and place it in this boat and thou shalt make it to travel about in the boat which shall be made in the form of the boat of ra and he shall see the god ra himself therein let not the eye of any man whatsoever look upon it with the exception of thine own self or thy father or thy son and guard this with great care now these things shall make the ku perfect in the heart of ra and it shall give unto him power with the company of the gods and the gods shall look upon him as a divine being like unto themselves and mankind and the dead shall look upon him and shall fall down upon their faces and he shall be seen in the underworld in the form of the radiance of ra chapter one hundred and thirty four vignette the boat of the sun before which stand the deceased and his daughter on the bows is perched the hawk of horus with the crown of the south upon his head in the boat are the gods shu tefnut seb nut osiris isis and hathor human-headed and horse hawk-headed 
in the saite recension the gods in the boat are nine in number and behind them is the disk of the sun text another chapter of making perfect the khu the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith homage to thee o thou who art within thy divine shrine who shinest with rays of light and sendest forth radiance from thyself who decreest joy for millions of years unto those who love him who givest their hearts desire unto mankind thou god kapera within thy boat who hast overthrown apep o ye children of the god seb overthrow ye the enemies of osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant and destroy ye them from the boat of ra and the god horus shall cut off their heads in heaven where they are in the form of feathered fowl and their hind parts shall be on the earth in the form of animals and in the lake in the form of fishes every male fiend and every female fiend shall the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief destroy whether he descendeth from heaven or whether he cometh forth from the earth or whether they come upon the waters or whether they advance towards the stars the god thoth the son of aner coming forth from the anerti shall hack them in pieces the osiris nu is silent and dumb cause ye this god the mighty one of slaughter the being greatly to be feared to make himself clean in your blood and to bathe himself in your gore and ye shall certainly be destroyed by him from the boat of his father ra the osiris nu is the god horus to whom his mother the goddess isis hath given birth and whom the goddess nephthys hath nursed and dandled even like horus when he repulsed the fiends of the god suti and when they see the ureret crown established upon his head they fall down upon their faces and they glorify him behold when men and gods and khus and the dead see the osiris nu in the form of horus with the ureret crown established upon his head they fall down upon their faces and the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant is victorious over his enemies in the heights of heaven and in the depths thereof and before the divine sovereign chiefs of every god and of every goddess rubric this chapter shall be recited over a hawk standing and having the white crown upon his head and over figures of tem shu tefnut seb nut osiris isis seti and nephthys painted in yellow colour upon a new plaque which shall be placed in a model of the boat of the sun along with a figure of the deceased whom thou wouldst make perfect these shalt thou anoint with cedar oil and incense shall be offered up to them on the fire and feathered fowl shall be roasted it is an act of praise to ra as he journeyeth and it shall cause a man to have his being along with ra day by day whithersoever the god voyageth and it shall destroy the enemies of ra in very truth regularly and continually chapter one hundred and thirty five vignette this chapter has no vignette text another chapter to be recited when the moon reneweth itself on the day of the month the osiris auf ankh triumphant saith osiris unfettereth or as others say openeth the storm cloud in the body of heaven and is unfettered himself horus is made strong happily each day he whose transformations are great or many hath offerings made unto him at the moment and he hath made an end of the storm which is in the face of the osiris auf ankh triumphant verily he cometh and he is ra in his journeying and he is the four celestial gods in the heavens above the osiris auf ankh triumphant cometh forth in his day and he embarketh among the tackle of the boat rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased he shall become a perfect khu in the underworld and he shall not die therein a second time and he shall eat his food side by side with osiris if this chapter be known by him upon earth he shall be like unto thoth and he shall be adored by the living ones he shall not fall headlong at the moment of royal flame of the goddess bast 
and the mighty princess shall make him to advance happily chapter one hundred and thirty six a vignette this chapter has no vignette in the seban recension text another chapter of travelling in the great boat of ra the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith behold now o ye luminaries in anu ye people in karaba the god ka hath been born his cordage hath been completed and the instrument wherewith he maketh his way hath he grasped firmly i have protected the implements of the gods and i have delivered the boat ka for him i have come forth into heaven and i have travelled therein with ra in the form of an ape and have turned back the paths of nut at the staircase of the god sebek chapter one hundred and thirty six a vignette in the theban recension this chapter has no vignette but in the saite recension the deceased stands in the boat of the god ra who is seated therein text another chapter of making perfect the coup it shall be recited on the festival of six the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith behold now o ye luminaries in anu heliopolis ye people in kuraba the god hath been born his cordage hath been completed and the instrument wherewith he maketh his way he hath grasped firmly and the osiris nu is strong with them to direct the implement of the gods the osiris nu hath delivered the boat of the sun therewith and he cometh forth into heaven the osiris nu saileth round about in heaven he travelleth therein unto nut he journeyeth along with ra and he voyageth therein in the form of apes he turneth back the water flood which is over the thigh of the goddess nut at the staircase of the god sabaku the hearts of seb and nut are glad and repeat the name which is new un neferu reneweth his youth ra is in his splendours of light unti hath his speech and io the god of the inundation is prince among the gods the taste of sweetness hath forced a way into the heart of the destitute one and the lord of thy outcries hath been done away with and the oars of the company of the gods are in vigorous motion adored be thou o divine soul who art endowed more than the gods of the south and north in their splendours behold grant thou that the osiris nu may be great in heaven even as thou art great among the gods deliver thou him from every evil and murderous thing which may be wrought upon him by the fiend and fortify thou his heart grant thou moreover that the osiris nu may be stronger than all the gods all the khus and all the dead the osiris nu is strong and is the lord of powers the osiris nu is the lord of right and truth which the goddess uachit worketh the strength which protects the osiris nu is the strength which protects the god ra in heaven o god ra grant thou that the osiris nu may travel on in thy boat in peace and do thou prepare a road whereon thy boat may journey onwards for the force which protecteth osiris is the force which protecteth thee the osiris nu driveth back the crocodile from ra day by day the osiris nu cometh even as doth horus in the splendours of the horizon of heaven and he directeth ra through the mansions of the sky the gods rejoice greatly when the osiris nu repulseth the crocodile the osiris nu hath the amulet of the god and the cloud of nebit shall not come nigh unto him and the divine guardians of the mansions of the sky shall not destroy him the osiris nu is a divine being whose face is hidden and he dwelleth within the great house as the chief of the shrine of the god the osiris nu carrieth the words of the gods to ra and he cometh and maketh supplication unto the divine lord with the words of his message the osiris nu is strong of heart and he maketh his offering at the moment among those who perform the ceremonies of sacrifice rubric this chapter shall be said over a figure of the deceased which shall be placed in a model of the boat of the sun and behold he that reciteth it shall be washed and shall be ceremonially pure and he shall have burnt incense before ra and shall have offered wine and cakes and roasted fowl for the journey of the deceased in the boat of ra now every khu for whom such things are done shall have an existence among the living ones and he shall never perish and he shall have a being like unto that of the holy god no evil thing whatsoever shall attack him and he shall be like unto a happy khu in amentet 
and he shall not die a second time he shall eat and he shall drink in the presence of osiris each day he shall be borne along with the kings of the north and of the south each and every day he shall quaff water at the fountain head he shall come forth by day even as doth horus he shall live and shall become like unto god and he shall be hymned by the living ones even as is ra each and every day continually and regularly for ever chapter one hundred and thirty six b vignette a boat in which is the head of a hawk emblematic of ra whereupon is a disc encircled by a serpent over the bows and stern are utchats or symbolic eyes text the chapter of sailing in the great boat of ra to pass over the circle of bright flame the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief triumphant saith hail ye bright and shining flames that keep your place behind ra and which slay behind him the boat of ra is in fear of the whirlwind and the storm shine ye forth then and make ye yourselves visible i have come daily along with the god sek ra from the bight of his holy lake and i have seen the maat goddesses pass along and the lion gods who belong unto them hail thou that dwellest in the coffer who hast multitudes of plants i have seen what is there we rejoice and their princes rejoice greatly and their lesser gods are glad i have made a way in front of the boat of ra i have lifted myself up into his divine disc i shine brightly through his splendours he hath furnished himself with the things which are his taking possession thereof as the lord of right and truth and behold o ye company of the gods and thou ancestor of the goddess isis grant ye that he may bear testimony to his father the lord of those who are therein i have weighed thee in him as chief and i have brought to him the goddess tefna and he liveth behold come come and declare before him the testimony of right and truth of the lord tem i cry out at eventide and at his hour saying grant ye unto me that i may come i have brought unto him the jaws of the passages of the tomb i have brought unto him the bones which are in anu heliopolis i have gathered together for him his manifold parts i have driven back for him the serpent fiend apep i have spit upon his gashes for him i have made my road and i have passed in among you i am he who dwelleth among the gods come let me pass onwards in the boat the boat of the lord sa behold o heru er there is a flame but the fire hath been extinguished i have made my road o ye divine fathers and your divine apes i have entered upon the horizon and i have passed on to the side of the divine princes and i have borne testimony unto him that dwelleth in his divine boat i have gone forward over the circle of bright flame which is behind the lord of the lock of hair which moveth round about behold ye who cry out over yourselves ye worms in your hidden places grant ye that i may pass onwards for i am the mighty one the lord of divine strength and i am the spiritual body saw of the lord of divine right and truth made by the goddess uachit his strength which protecteth is my strength which protecteth which is the strength which protecteth ra grant ye that i may be in the following of ra and grant ye that i may go round about with him in sekhet hetep and in the two lands i am a great god and i have been judged by the company of his gods grant that divine sepulchral meals may be given unto me chapter one hundred and thirty seven a vignette four men each holding a flame standing in the presence of a god before whom are four pools or lakes text the chapter of the four blazing flames which are made for the coup behold thou shalt make four square troughs of clay whereon thou shalt scatter incense and thou shalt fill them with the milk of a white cow and by means of these thou shalt extinguish the flame the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith the fire cometh to thy ka o osiris governor of amenti the fire cometh to thy ka o osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant he that ordereth the night cometh after the day the flame cometh to thy ka o osiris governor of those in amenti and the two sisters of ra come likewise behold the flame riseth in abtu abidas and it cometh and i cause it to come to the eye of horus it is set in order upon thy brow o osiris governor of amenti 
and it is fixed within thy shrine and riseth upon thy brow it is set in order upon thy breast o osiris nu and it is fixed upon thy brow the eye of horus is protecting thee o osiris governor of amenti and it keepeth thee in safety it casteth down headlong all thine enemies for thee and all thine enemies have fallen headlong before thee o osiris nu the eye of horus protecteth thee it keepeth thee in safety and it casteth down headlong all thine enemies thine enemies have fallen down headlong before thy ka o osiris governor of amenti the eye of horus protecteth thee it keepeth thee in safety and it hath cast down headlong all thine enemies thine enemies have fallen down headlong before thy ka o osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant the eye of horus protecteth thee it keepeth thee in safety it hath cast down headlong for thee all thine enemies and thine enemies have fallen down headlong before thee the eye of horus cometh it is sound and well and it sendeth forth rays like unto ra in the horizon it covereth over with darkness the powers of suti it taketh possession thereof and it bringeth this flame against him upon its feet the eye of horus is sound and well thou eatest the flesh of thy body by means thereof and thou givest praise thereto the four flames enter into thy ka o osiris governor of amenti the four flames enter into thy ka o osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant hail ye children of horus mesthi hapi tuamartef and kebesenef ye have given your protection unto your divine father osiris the governor of amenti grant ye your protection to the osiris nu triumphant now therefore inasmuch as ye have destroyed the opponents of osiris the governor of amenti he liveth with the gods and he hath smitten suti with his hand and arm since light dawned upon the earth and horus hath gotten power and he hath avenged his divine father osiris himself and inasmuch as your divine father hath been made vigorous through the union which ye have effected for him with the ka of osiris the governor of amenti now the eye of horus hath avenged him and it hath protected him and it hath cast down headlong for him all his enemies and all his enemies have fallen down before him even so do ye destroy the opponents of the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor and chief triumphant let him live with the gods let him smite down his enemy let him destroy him when light dawneth upon the earth let horus gain power and avenge the osiris nu let the osiris nu have vigour through the union which he hath effected for him with his ka o osiris nu the eye of horus hath avenged thee it hath cast down headlong all thine enemies for thee and all thine enemies have fallen down headlong before thee hail osiris governor of amenti grant thou light and fire to the happy soul which is in sutton henan hera cleopolis and o ye children of horus grant ye power unto the living soul of the osiris nu within his flame let him not be repulsed and let him not be driven back at the doors of amentet o oh, let his offerings of bread and of linen garments be brought unto him among those of the lords of funeral oblations o oh, offer ye praises as unto a god to the osiris nu destroyer of his opponents in his form of right and truth and in his attributes of a god of right and truth rubric this chapter shall be recited over four fires made of atma cloth which hath been anointed with hatet unguent of the Hanu, and they shall be placed in the hands of four men who shall have the names of the pillars of horus written upon their shoulders and they shall burn the fires in the beautiful rays of ra this shall confer power and might upon the ku among the stars which never set if this chapter be recited for him he shall never never fail and he shall become a living soul for ever and these fires shall make the coup as vigorous as osiris the governor of amenti regularly and continually for ever it is a great struggle thou shalt not perform this ceremony before any human being except thine own self or thy father or thy son because it is an exceedingly great mystery of amentet and it is a type of the hidden things of the underworld for when this ceremony hath been performed the gods and the khus and the dead shall see him in the form of the governor of amenti and he shall have power and dominion like this god if thou shalt undertake to perform for him what is ordered in this chapter of the four blazing flames each day thou wilt cause the form of the deceased to come forth from every hall 
in the underworld and from the seven halls of osiris and he shall have an existence in the form of the god he shall have power and dominion corresponding to that of the gods and the khus for ever and ever he shall enter in through the hidden pylons and shall not be turned back before the god osiris and it shall come to pass if these things have been done for him that he shall enter in and come forth he shall not be turned back no limit to his journeying shall be set and he shall not have sentence of evil passed upon him on the day of the weighing of words before the god osiris for ever and ever and thou shalt perform what is ordered in this book for the deceased and he shall become perfect and pure and thou shalt open his mouth with the iron instrument and shalt write down these writings in accordance with the things which are found in the books of the royal son heru tata f who discovered them in a hidden chest now they were in the handwriting of the god himself in the temple of the goddess unat the lady of unu hermopolis during his journey to make an inspection of the temples and of the lands and of the funeral shrines of the gods and these things shall be done secretly in the underworld they are mysteries of the underworld and they are a type of the mysteries of netter kurt and thou shalt say i have come advancing quickly and casting light upon his footsteps and hiding myself to cast light upon his hidden place i stand up behind the tet i stand up behind the tet of ra turning back the slaughter i am protecting thee o osiris rubric this chapter shall be recited over a tet of crystal which is set upon a brick made of green clay whereupon hath been inscribed this chapter then thou shalt make a cavity in the west wall and having turned the front of the tet towards the east therein thou shalt wall it up with earth moistened with cedar juice it will repulse the enemies of osiris who set themselves at the east wall and thou shalt say i have driven back thy foes and i have kept watch for thee and he that is upon his mountain that is anubis hath kept watch at thy moment and hath repulsed thy foes for thee i have driven back crocodile for thee at thy moment and i am protecting thee o osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant rubric this chapter shall be recited over a figure of anubis made of green clay kneaded with incense and set up on a brick of green clay whereupon it hath been inscribed then thou shalt make a cavity in the east wall and having turned the face of anubis towards the west therein thou shalt wall it up it will repulse the enemies of osiris who set themselves at the south-west wall and thou shalt say i am the collar or girdle of sand around the hidden coffer turning back the arm from the blazing flame of the funeral mountain i have marched over the roads and i am protecting the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant rubric this chapter shall be recited over a brick of green clay whereupon it hath been inscribed and thou shalt place incense in the middle thereof and thou shalt smear it with pitch or resin and set light to it then thou shalt make a cavity in the south wall and having turned the front of the brick towards the north therein thou shalt wall it up it will repulse the enemies of osiris who set themselves at the north wall and thou shalt say o thou that comest to make a burning i will not let thee do it o thou that comest to shoot forth fire i will not let thee do it i will burn thee i will shoot forth fire at thee for i am protecting the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant rubric this chapter shall be recited over a brick of green clay whereupon it hath been inscribed along with a figure of a palm tree seven fingers in height and thou shalt open its mouth then thou shalt make a cavity in the north wall and having turned the face of the figure towards the south therein thou shalt wall it up it will repulse the enemies of osiris who set themselves at the south wall and behold these things shall be performed by a man who is clean and is ceremonially pure one who hath eaten neither meat nor fish and who hath not recently had intercourse with women and behold thou shalt make offerings of cakes and ale and shalt burn incense on the fire of these gods and every khu for whom these things shall be done shall become like a holy god in the underworld he shall not be turned back at any gate in amentet and he shall be in the following of osiris wheresoever he goeth regularly and continually chapter one hundred and thirty seven b vignette the goddess api 
the lady who giveth protection in the form of a hippopotamus setting light to a vessel of incense in the saite recension the deceased is seen sitting upon a chair with two burning lamps on each side of him there the chapter is called chapter of making the flame to burn up text the chapter of kindling a flame by nebseni the scribe and draughtsman in the temple of ptah he saith the white or shining eye of horus cometh the brilliant eye of horus cometh it cometh in peace it sendeth forth rays of light unto ra in the horizon and it destroyeth the powers of set according to the decree it leadeth them on and it taketh possession of him and its flame is kindled against him its flame cometh and goeth about and bringeth adoration it cometh and goeth about heaven in the train of ra upon the two hands of thy two sisters o ra the eye of horus liveth yea liveth within the great hall the eye of horus liveth yea liveth and is on mount f chapter one hundred and thirty eight vignette the standard emblematic of the nome of teni the capital of which was abydos surmounted by plumes and ureus etc being set up by isis and osiris on each side winged uchats a fan or fly flapper held upright by an emblem of life from which project human hands and arms the hawk emblematic of horus sep a ram having plumes above his horns and three gods standing upright on one side are the souls of pe and the jackal emblem of anpu anubis or of apuat and on the other are the souls of tep and the jackal emblem of apuat or of anpu beneath the standard are the lion gods of the horizon one of whom is called yesterday and the other to-morrow text the chapter of entering into abtu and of being in the following of osiris the osiris knew the overseer of the house the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith hail ye gods who dwell in abtu abydos ye divine sovereign chiefs who are gathered together come ye forward with joy and gladness to meet me and look ye upon my divine father osiris i have been judged and i have come forth from his shrine i am horus the lord of kempt egypt and of the red hilly desert i have taken possession thereof there is none who hath power over him his eye is mighty against his enemies he hath avenged his divine father he hath destroyed the water flood of his mother he hath crushed his enemies he hath put down violence mightily and hath still the strength of the god nebit the divine prince of many peoples the sovereign of the two lands hath taken possession of the house of his divine father by means of the written decrees i have been tried in the balance my word is right and true i have gained the mastery over my enemies and bring to naught the things which they work against me i am strong in the strength which protecteth me i am the son of osiris and my divine father protecteth his body with strength and might chapter one hundred and thirty nine see chapter one hundred and twenty three chapter one hundred and forty vignette the deceased kneeling with both hands raised in adoration before the jackal of anubis which is couchant on a pylon a kneeling figure having an uchat on his head and the god ra text the book which is to be recited on the last day of the second month of the season pert when the uchat is full in the second month of the season pert the osiris alf ankh saith the divine power hath risen and shineth in the horizon and the god tem hath risen out of the odour of that which floweth from him the khus shine in heaven and het ben benet rejoiceth for there is among them a form which is like unto themselves and there are shouts and cries of gladness within the shrine and the sounds of those who rejoice go round about through the underworld and homage is paid unto him at the decree of tem and Herukuti Hamarchus his majesty ordereth the company of the gods to follow in the train of his majesty his majesty ordereth the calling of the uchat with you to my members he hath given strength to all my limbs and hath made them vigorous that which cometh forth from the mouth of his majesty his divine eye resteth upon its seat with his majesty at that hour of the night on the day of the fulfilment of the fourth hour or four hours of the beautiful land on the last day of the second month of the season pert the majesty of the uchat is in the presence of the company of the gods and his majesty shineth as he shone in the primeval time when the uchat was first upon his head ra tem 
Uchatep, Shu, Seb, Osiris, Sudi, Horus, Menth, Ba, Raher, Nehe, Tehuti, Naam, Techeta, Nut, Isis, Nephthys, Hathor, Neket, Mert, Maat, Ampu, and Tamescheta are the soul and body of Ra. The computation of the Uchat hath been made in the presence of the divine lord of this earth. It is full to the uttermost, and it resteth or setteth. And these gods are rejoicing on this day, and they have their hands beneath them. And the festival of every god having been celebrated, they say, Hail, praise be unto thee, O thou who art as Ra, rejoice in him, for the mariners of his boat sail round about, and he hath overthrown the fiend Apep hail praise be unto thee o thou who art as ra who maketh himself to come into being in the form of the god capera hail praise be unto thee o thou who art as ra for he hath destroyed his enemy hail praise be unto ra for he hath crushed the heads of the children of impotent rebellion and praise and rejoicing be unto the osiris alp Ankh, triumphant rubric this chapter shall be recited over an uchat of real lapis lazuli or of mock stone plated with gold before which shall be offered every kind of fair and pure oblation when ra showeth himself on the last day of the second month of the season pert and thou shalt make another uchat of jasper and place it upon such part of the dead man's body as thou pleasest and when this chapter hath been recited before the boat of ra the deceased shall be borne along with these gods and he shall become one of them and he shall be made to rise up in the underworld and whilst this chapter is being recited and likewise whilst the offerings are being made at the time when the uchat is full four altars shall be lighted for ratem and four for the uchat and four for the gods who have been mentioned and upon each of them shall there be bread cakes made of fine flour and five white cakes and plants and five white cakes and shy and five bach and of incense one measure and of tech incense one measure and one roasted joint of meat end of chapters one hundred and thirty one through one hundred and forty chapters one hundred and forty one through one hundred and forty five of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapters one hundred and forty one and one hundred and forty two vignette the deceased with hands raised in adoration bowing before a table of offerings of every kind or the deceased standing and offering incense and pouring out a libation before osiris or the god osiris seated within a shrine on a throne by the side of which stand isis and nephthys on a lotus flower stand the four children of horus and on a standard is a jackal emblematic of anubis these vignettes are figured by navel and differ entirely from the vignette which accompanies chapter one hundred and forty two in the saite recension originally the text of chapters one hundred and forty one and one hundred and forty two formed one composition but it might readily be divided into two sections viz the list of the gods to whom a man was directed to make offerings for the benefit of his father and his son and a list of the names of osiris and this is what the editors of the saite recension actually did and they emphasized the division by giving to each section a distinct title text here beginneth the book which a man shall recite for his father or for his son during the festivals of amentet whereby he shall make him perfect with ra and with the gods and whereby he shall have his existence with them it shall be recited on the ninth day of the festival behold the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant maketh offerings of cakes and ale and oxen and feathered fowl and joints of roast meat and he burneth incense one to osiris the governor of amenti two to ra herukuti ra hamarchus three to nu four to maat five to the boat of ra six to temu seven to the great company of the gods eight to the little company of the gods nine to horus the lord of the uraret crown 
ten to shu eleven to tefnut twelve to seb thirteen to nut fourteen to isis fifteen to nephthys sixteen to the temple of the cause of nebetur seventeen to the raging one of heaven who raiseth up the god eighteen to alkert dwelling in her place nineteen to the city of met kebetet the sahu of the god twenty to the goddess greatly beloved with red hair twenty one to the goddess joined unto life with flowing hair twenty two to the goddess whose name is mighty in her works twenty three to the bull the husband of the divine cow twenty four to the beautiful power of the beautiful rudder of the northern heaven twenty five to him that revolveth the guide of the two lands the beautiful rudder of the western heaven twenty six to the god of light who dwelleth in the temple of the ashamu beings the beautiful rudder of the eastern heaven twenty seven to the dweller in the temple of the ruddy ones the beautiful rudder of the southern heaven twenty eight to mesh thee twenty nine to hapi thirty two to am al tef thirty one to kebesenef thirty two to the atert of the south thirty three to the atert of the north thirty four to the sectet boat thirty five to the atet boat thirty six to thoth thirty seven to the gods of the south thirty eight to the gods of the north thirty nine to the gods of the west forty to the gods of the east forty one to the gods of the thigh forty two to the gods of the funeral offerings forty three to the great house forty four to the temple of flame forty five to the gods of the places of the dead forty six to the gods of the horizon forty seven to the gods of the fields forty eight to the gods of the divine parity forty nine to the gods of the divine nesty fifty to the roads of the south fifty one to the roads of the north fifty two to the roads of the east fifty three to the roads of the west fifty five fifty four to the doors of the underworld fifty five to the pylons of the underworld fifty six to the leaves of the hidden doors fifty seven to the hidden doors fifty eight to the guardians of the leaves of the doors of the tuat underworld fifty nine to the hidden faces who guard the roads sixty to the guardians who give divine food sixty one to the guardians of the funeral mountains who give happy faces sixty two to the flaming beings who give forth fire sixty three to the divine burning altars sixty four to those who scatter and extinguish the flame of fire in amentet sixty five to osiris un nefer sixty six to osiris ankti sixty seven to osiris lord of life sixty eight to osiris lord of wholeness sixty nine to osiris dweller in peku seventy to osiris orion sa seventy one to osiris sa seventy two to osiris dweller in temples seventy three to osiris in resinet seventy four to osiris in mehemet seventy five to osiris golden one of millions of years seventy six to osiris body urpit seventy seven to osiris ptah lord of life seventy eight to osiris dweller in re stau seventy nine to osiris dweller in the funeral mountain eighty to osiris in adi eighty one to osiris in setet eighty two to osiris in nechefet eighty three to osiris in rezu eighty four to osiris in pe eighty five to osiris in neteru eighty six to osiris in sal the lower eighty seven to osiris in bakhet eighty eight to osiris in sunu eighty nine to osiris in rehenet ninety to osiris in apen ninety one to osiris in kefenu to ninety two to osiris sekri in pet shi ninety three to osiris dweller in his city ninety four to osiris in pesk re ninety five to osiris in his habitations in the land of the north ninety six to osiris in heaven ninety seven to osiris in his habitations in ristal ninety eight to osiris net justi ninety nine to osiris atef ur one hundred to osiris sekri one hundred and one to osiris governor of eternity one hundred and two to osiris the begetter one hundred and three to osiris in the water one hundred and four to osiris in battle one hundred and five to osiris lord of everlastingness one hundred and six to osiris prince one hundred and seven to osiris 
naiti one hundred and eight to osiris in re one hundred and nine to osiris upon his sand one hundred and ten to osiris dweller in the hall of the cow one hundred and eleven to osiris and tananet one hundred and twelve to osiris and netabit one hundred and thirteen to osiris and se one hundred and fourteen to osiris and beteshu one hundred and fifteen to osiris and kepu one hundred and sixteen to osiris and sau the upper one hundred and seventeen to osiris and nepert one hundred and eighteen to osiris and shenu one hundred and nineteen to osiris and henket one hundred and twenty to osiris and ta sekri one hundred and twenty one to osiris and shau one hundred and twenty two to osiris and fat heru one hundred and twenty three to osiris and maati one hundred and twenty four to osiris and henna in the saite recension chapter one hundred and forty two is much fuller than in the papyri extant which contain the theban recension as they are given it is in a tabular form and is divided into six sections each containing twenty-six lines it runs text the book of making perfect the deceased and of making him to advance with long strides and to come forth by day in all the transformations which please him and to know the names of the god osiris in every place wherein he chooseth to be the osiris alf ankh born of sherat amsu triumphant saith one osiris un nefer osiris the living one osiris lord of life osiris neber cher osiris opener of the back of the two lands osiris dweller in un osiris dweller in corn osiris sa orion osiris holy crown of the souls of anu heliopolis osiris dweller in theninet osiris in resinet osiris in mehenet osiris lord of millions of years osiris son of the herpeti that is isis and nephthys osiris ptah lord of life osiris dweller in resta osiris governor of the world dwelling in tatu osiris dweller in the funeral mountain osiris holy soul in tatu osiris in ati osiris in heset or as others say in netterse osiris lord of ta ankh tet that is land of life osiris in sau sayest osiris in netchet osiris in the south or as others say among the divine sovereign's chiefs osiris in pei two osiris in tept osiris in netra osiris in lower sau saiz osiris in upper sau saiz osiris in an rut f osiris in the two hawk gods osiris in sanu osiris in renin osiris in aper osiris in kefenu osiris in sekri osiris in petet osiris in his temple in ristau osiris in nifer osiris in netet osiris dweller in his city osiris henti that is osiris of the two crocodiles osiris in pekis osiris in his temple in the land of the south osiris in his temple in the land of the north osiris in heaven osiris on earth osiris upon his throne osiris in atef ur osiris seker in the closed chest osiris prince of eternity in anu three osiris the begetter osiris in the sectet boat osiris in ru tu nifu osiris lord of eternity osiris lord of everlastingness osiris in tesha osiris in neshet osiris in ut reset osiris in ut mate osiris in aat earth osiris in apert osiris in shenu osiris in hekanut or as others say in hesert osiris in seker osiris in shau osiris fa heru osiris in upek osiris in maati osiris and mena osiris souls of his father osiris lord of the world king of the gods osiris and bener osiris tai osiris on his sand osiris dweller in the hall of his cows osiris and sa four osiris and sapti osiris and asher osiris in all lands osiris dweller in the pool of the great double house osiris and het ben bennet osiris and anu osiris the aged chief in anu osiris and hamak osiris and akesh osiris and pei of nu osiris in the great temple 
osiris lord of life in abtu osiris lord of tatu osiris dweller in the throne of his habitations osiris prince in abtu osiris prince in the hidden place osiris in life in het ka ptah osiris lord of might destroyer of the foe osiris bull in kemt osiris aheti osiris se osiris herukuti tem bull of the body of the great company of the gods opener of the roads of the south governor of the two lands opener of the roads of the north governor of heaven ptah establisher of the holy seat of ra five one invoked in het ben benet seb prince of the gods heru ur heru kentet an maati heru sa auset amsu sutin heru nekht an mat f ab ur kenemu heru hetep heru sekhai heru kent kati heru tehuti an heru ampu kent neter se nut isis god in all her names re sek hate shen fit hek tit neshemet boat lord of eternity nit neith serket maat ha hit the four birthplaces in abtu great meshken meshken sebkebet meshken menket six meshken nefert amseth hapi tuama tef keb senaf ureus within the divine house gods guides of the tuat gods of the kerti gods goddess within abtu shrines north south devoted ones of osiris osiris dweller in amentet osiris in his every place osiris in his place in the land of the south osiris in his place in the land of the north osiris in every place where his ka wisheth to be osiris in all his halls osiris in all his creations osiris in all his names osiris in all his holdings osiris in all his risings osiris in all his ornamentations osiris in all his stations heru netch tef f in his every name ampu dweller in the se hall in his every name ampu in the town of embalmment chapter one hundred and forty three chapter one hundred and forty three consists of the vignette to chapter one hundred and forty two which is found in the saite recension only this vignette is divided into five sections a woman standing upright with arms pendant a hawk upon a standard placed in a boat a man with his left hand raised as if in invocation standing in a boat before him are two discs one large and one small the sectet boat wherein are two hawks upon standards a man the deceased standing upright with both hands raised in adoration chapter one hundred and forty four vignette the seven arets or mansions text the chapter of entering in the osiris nu triumphant saith one the first arit sekhet hua asht aru is the name of the doorkeeper of the first erit sematu is the name of the watcher and hekeru is the name of the herald thereof to the second erit tun hat is the name of the doorkeeper of the second erit sekehra is the name of the watcher and sabis is the name of the herald thereof three the third erit am huat and pe f is the name of the doorkeeper of the third erit res ra is the name of the watcher and you uh, is the name of the herald thereof four the fourth erit kesef ra asht keru is the name of the doorkeeper of the fourth erit res sab is the name of the watcher neteka ra kesef atu is the name of the herald thereof five the fifth erit ankh m fentu is the name of the doorkeeper of the fifth arit ashubu is the name of the watcher and teb her kahayat is the name of the herald thereof six the sixth arit akin tau ke ha keru is the name of the doorkeeper of the sixth arit an ra is the name of the watcher and metis ra ari she is the name of the herald thereof 
seven the seventh arit metesen is the name of the doorkeeper of the seventh arit a a keru is the name of the watcher and kesef ra kemu is the name of the herald thereof hail ye arits hail ye who make the arits for osiris hail ye who watch your arits hail ye who herald the affairs of the two lands of the god osiris each day the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant knoweth you and he knoweth your names the osiris knew hath been born in restyle and every glory of the horizon and every honour have been given unto him the osiris knew is in the city of pei like the pure being osiris the osiris knew hath received acclamations in restyle and the gods lead him over the horizon along with the divine princes who are behind osiris i am the divine one among them and i am their leader the osiris knew is a coup the lord of the coups a coup who worketh the osiris knew celebrateth the monthly festival and he is the herald of the half monthly festival hail thou that revolvest the osiris knew is under the fiery eye of horus and he is under the hand of thoth on the night when he travelleth over heaven in triumph the osiris knew passeth onwards in peace and he journeyeth in the boat of ra the strength which protecteth the osiris knew is the strength which protecteth the boat of ra the osiris knew hath a name greater than yours and he is greater than ye are on the path of mei the osiris abominateth defeat the strength which protecteth the osiris knew is the strength which protecteth horus the firstborn of ra he hath made his heart and the osiris knew shall not be constrained and he shall not be repulsed at the arits of the god osiris the osiris knew hath been provided with all things by the double lying god and the pure one is in the following of osiris the governor of amenti throughout the course of each day daily his fields are in sekti hetep with the divine beings who know things and with those who perform things for the osiris knew by the hand of thoth among those who make offerings of propitiation and anubis hath commanded him that dwelleth among offerings that the offerings of the osiris nu shall be with him and that they shall not be taken away from him by those divine beings who dwell in fetters the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant cometh like unto horus in the splendour of the horizon of heaven and ra hath set him in order for the arits of the horizon the gods rejoice in him when they meet him the amulets of the god are for the osiris nu the god nebit shall not come to him and the doorkeepers of the arit shall not overthrow him the osiris nu is hidden of face within the great celestial house which is the shrine of the god and he arriveth there in the following of the pure one hathor the osiris nu createth multitudes of human beings he maketh maat to advance to ra and he destroyeth the twofold strength of apep the osiris nu maketh a way through the firmament he driveth away the whirlwind of the and the storm he maketh the mariners of ra to live and he maketh offerings to come unto the place where he is the osiris nu causeth a boat to be made he travelleth therein happily the osiris nu maketh a way and he advanceth thereon the face of the osiris nu is like that of the god ur pehef by reason of the might and the osiris nu is the lord of might the osiris nu is at rest in the horizon and he is valiant to overthrow you o ye nahesu gods make a path then for your lord osiris rubric this chapter shall be said over a drawing of the divine sovereign chiefs which hath been done in yellow ink on the boat of ra and offerings and oblations shall be made unto them and sacrifices of feathered fowl and incense shall be burnt before them these acts will make the deceased to live and they will give him strength among these gods and he shall neither be repulsed nor turned back at the pylons of the underworld and moreover thou shalt make a figure of the deceased in their presence and thou shalt make it to come forth towards every one of these gates which are painted above and thou shalt recite this chapter at the door of each of the arits which are painted above and at each one of them thou shalt make offerings viz the thigh the head the heart and the hoof of a red bull and four vessels of blood which hath not come from the beast and amulets and sixteen loaves of white bread and eight possin or person loaves 
and eight shevin loaves and eight kenfu loaves and eight hebenu loaves and eight large vessels of beer and eight large vessels of grain and four earthenware vessels filled with the milk of a white cow and fresh herbs and fresh olives and unguent and eye paint and hatet unguent and incense to be burnt on the fire and this chapter shall be recited twice over each earthenware vessel after the drawing or image hath been made at the fourth hour going round about by day and take good heed to the time in the heavens now when thou doest what is written in this book do not allow any person whatsoever to see thee and this ceremony shall make long the strides of the deceased in heaven and on earth and in the underworld and it shall benefit him in everything which he doeth and he shall possess the things of the day regularly and continually chapter one hundred and forty five chapter one hundred and forty five and one hundred and forty six are two versions of one and the same text of these chapter one hundred and forty five is the longer and the two different forms of it of each of which unfortunately only a single imperfect copy is extant are described by navel both are ancient one appearing in the tomb of seti the second mary and ptah at thebes and the other in the papyrus of the royal military scribe pa -er. a better general view of the contents of chapter one hundred and forty five will probably be obtained from the text as given in the saite recension than from the mutilated ancient forms now known it is moreover fuller than the others and the following translation has been made from it vignette the twenty-one pylons of Sekhet aean re at the house of osiris in each section the deceased stands with hands raised in adoration before a god who stands by the side of the shrine text here begins the chapters of the pylons of sekhet aean re of the house of osiris the osiris alphant triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou first pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lady of tremblings with lofty walls the sovereign lady the mistress of destruction who setteth in order the words which drive back the whirlwind and the storm who delivereth from destruction him that travelleth along the way is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is nereu i have washed myself in the water wherein the god ra washeth himself when he leaveth the eastern part of the sky i have anointed myself with hati unguent made from the cedar and i have arrayed myself in apparel of menk and i have with me my sceptre of heady wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou second pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lady of heaven the mistress of the world who terrifieth the earth from the place of thy body is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is mespita i have washed myself in the water wherein the god osiris washeth himself to whom were given the sektet boat and the matet boat when he came forth over am ert and passed through the pylons i have anointed myself with the unguent of the festivals i have arrayed myself in apparel of seshet and i have with me my sceptre of ben ben wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure osiris alp ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou third pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lady of pylons lady to whom abundant offerings are made who giveth whatsoever is there the guide of the offerings who gratifieth the gods who giveth the day for the sailing up of the boat neshemet to abtu abadas is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is bek i have washed myself in the water wherein the god ptah washeth when he saileth up to carry away the god henu on the day of opening the face i have anointed myself with hati unguent made of hekenu unguent and of tehenu unguent i have arrayed myself in apparel of shesa and i have with me my sceptre of a hen wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure 
the osiris auf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fourth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee she who prevaileth with knives the mistress of the two lands who destroyeth the enemies of the still heart who maketh the decree for the escape of the needy from evil hap is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is hu tepa i have washed myself in the water wherein the god un nefer triumphant washeth himself when he hath had a dispute with set and when victory is given unto him i have anointed myself with sanat unguent and with ennen unguent i am pure i have arrayed myself in shesa apparel like unto that in which thy son was arrayed and i have with me my sceptre of taututu wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris al ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fifth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lady of splendour lady of praises lofty one never to chert the lady to whom supplications are made and unto whom none entereth is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is urta hen ur rakal i have washed myself in the water wherein horus washed himself when he made himself the chief reader and samur f for his father osiris i have anointed myself with aber unguent made of holy offerings i have upon me the skin of the panther and i have with me my sceptre wherewith to smite those who are black of heart saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou sixth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lady to whom abundant supplication is made the difference between whose height and breadth is unknown and like of whom for strength hath not been overturned since the beginning the number of the serpents which are there upon their bellies is unknown the divine image the strengthener out of the night being born in the presence of the still heart is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is samti i have washed myself in the water wherein the god thoth washed himself when he made himself the tachat of horus i have anointed myself with akka unguent i have arrayed myself in apparel of thesthes and i have with me my sceptre of sept wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou seventh pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee water flood which clotheth the feeble one weeper for that which she loveth shrouding the body is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is amnit i have washed myself in the water wherein the goddesses isis and nephthys washed themselves when they passed the crocodile with his crocodiles on their way to the opening of the place of purity i have anointed myself with hekenu unguent i have arrayed myself in unk apparel and i have with me my sceptre and my paddle saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou eighth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee she that belongeth to her lord the mighty goddess the gracious one the lady who giveth birth to the divine form of her lord or as others say who passeth through and traverseth the land the head of which is millions of cubits in depth and in height is thy name the name of the god who guardeth thee is Netsis. i have washed myself in the water wherein the god anpu washed when he had performed the office of embalmer and bandager or as others say the chief reader of osiris i have anointed myself with seft unguent i have arrayed myself in apparel of atma and i have my garment of enen stuff or as others say of cat skin with me saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou ninth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee blazing flame of horus which cannot be extinguished which having passed is followed by another which is provided with tongues of flame that project to destroy irresistible and impassable by any by reason of the injury which it doeth is thy name 
there is fear through the might of its roaring the name of the god who guardeth thee is kuchef i have washed myself in the water wherein the ram lord of tatu washed himself thoroughly from one end of his body to the other i have anointed myself with out unguent of the divine members and with ankh unguent i have arrayed myself in a tunic of fair white linen and i have with me my sceptre of benin wood saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris al ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou tenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee lofty of gates who raiseth up those who cry who art terrible unto him that would come unto thee or as others say she who maketh one to make supplication by reason of the loudness of her voice vanquisher of the foe who is not constrained by that which is within her is thy name the name of the god who watcheth thee is sekenur i have washed myself in the water wherein the god astes washed himself when he entered in to be an advocate for set within the hidden chamber i have anointed myself with teshen unguent and i have with me a sceptre made of the bone of the bird tesher having a head like that of a greyhound saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris of ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou eleventh pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee she who repeateth slaughters who burneth up the fiends the mistress of every pylon the lady to whom acclamation is made on the day of hearing iniquity is thy name thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou twelfth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee she who journeyeth about in the two lands who destroyeth those who come with flashings and with fire the lady of splendour who hearkeneth to the word of her lord every day is thy name thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou thirteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee when the company of the gods is led along their hands are raised in adoration before her face and the watery abyss shineth with light by reason of those who are therein is thy name thou hast the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fourteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee mighty one of souls red of hair aakhabit who cometh forth by night who destroyeth the fiends in their created forms which their hands give to the still heart in his hour the one who cometh and goeth is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou fifteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lady of valour destroyer of the ruddy ones who celebrateth the haycar festivals when the fire is extinguished on the day of hearing cases of iniquity is thy name she hath judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou sixteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lady of victory whose hand goeth after the fiends who burneth with flames of fire when she cometh forth creator of the mysteries of the earth is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou seventeenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee mighty one in the horizon lady of the ruddy ones destroyer in blood aakhabit 
power lady of flame is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou eighteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee lover of flame pure one hearkening unto thee behold she loveth to cut off the heads of the venerated ones lady of the great house destroyer of fiends at eventide is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou nineteenth pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee dispenser of strength or as others say of light of the palace the mighty one of the flame the lady of the strength and of the writings of ptah himself is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou twentieth pylon of the still heart i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the being who is within thee stone of her lord field with a serpent clother what she createth she hideth taking possession of hearts opener of herself is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one saith the pylon pass on then thou art pure the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith homage to thee saith horus o thou twenty-first pylon of the still heart i have made my way i know thee and i know thy name and i know the name of the god who guardeth thee sword that smiteth at the utterance of its own name goddess with face turned backwards the unknown one overthrow of him that draweth nigh to her flame is thy name thou keepest the secret things of the avenger of the god who guardeth thee and his name is amom he maketh it to come to pass that the cedar trees grow not that the acacia trees bring not forth and that copper is not begotten in the mountain the divine sovereign chiefs of this pylon are as seven gods techen or at is the name of the one at the door hetep mes is the name of the second mesep is the name of the third uch re is the name of the fourth apuat is the name of the fifth bek is the name of the sixth and anpu is the name of the seventh i have made my way i am amsu heru the avenger of his father the heir of his father un nefer i have come and i have caused to be overthrown all the enemies of my father osiris i have come day by day with victory doing myself the worship of the god in the house of his father tem the lord of anu the osiris alf ankh triumphant is in the southern heaven i have done what is right and true for him that made right and truth i have celebrated the haker festivals of the lord thereof i have led the way in the festival i have given cakes unto the lords of the altar and i have brought offerings and oblations and cakes and ale and oxen and ducks to my father osiris un nefer i have my being in a body which hath the soul and i make the benno bird to come forth at my words i have come daily into the house of the god to make offerings of incense i have brought garments of byssus and i have sailed on the sacred lake in the neshem boat i have made osiris the governor of amentet to be triumphant over his enemies i have carried away all his foes to the place of slaughter in the east and they shall never come forth from the durance of the god seb therein i stand up for him along with the divine kefau'i of ra and i make him to be triumphant i have come even as a scribe and i have made all things plain i have made the god to have power over his legs i have come into the house of him that is upon his hill that is anubis and i have seen him that is ruler in the divine hall that is anubis i have entered into Ristau, i have hidden myself and i have found out the way i have travelled unto an rut f i have clothed him that was naked i have sailed up to abtu abadas i have praised the gods who and sal i have entered into the house of astes and i have made supplication to the kati gods and to sekhet in the temple of neith or as others say to the princes i have entered into ristau i have hidden myself and i have found out the way i have travelled unto an rut f i have clothed him who was naked i have sailed up to abtu i have praised hu and sal i have received my crown at my rising 
and i have crowned myself upon my throne in the habitation of my father and of the first company of the gods i have worshipped in my birthplace of ta tchet sertep and my mouth is filled with right and truth i have drowned the serpent ak ka i have come into the great house which giveth vigour unto the limbs and it hath been granted unto me to sail about in the boat of high the fragrance of ant unguent ariseth from the hair of the beings who have knowledge i have entered into the house of astes and i have made supplication unto the kati gods and unto sekhet in the temple of the prince saith the pylon thou hast come being a favoured one in tatu o osiris alf ang triumphant son of sharet amsu triumphant End of chapters one hundred and forty one through one hundred and forty five chapters one hundred and forty six through one hundred and fifty of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge chapter one hundred and forty six vignettes fourteen shrines in each of which a god is seated text here begin the chapters of entering in at the hidden pylons of the house of osiris in sekhet aaneru the first the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant when he cometh to the first pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you lady of tremblings with lofty walls the sovereign lady the mistress of destruction who setteth in order the words which drive back the whirlwind and the storm who delivereth from destruction him that travelleth along the way is thy name the name of thy doorkeeper is neri the osiris knew when he cometh to the second pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you lady of heaven the mistress of the world who devoureth with fire the lady of mortals who knoweth mankind is thy name the name of thy doorkeeper is mespa or mespata the osiris knew when he cometh to the third pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you lady of the altar the lady to whom abundant offerings are made in whom every god rejoiceth on the day of sailing up to abtu abidas is thy name the name of thy doorkeeper is urtat sebanka the osiris knew when he cometh to the fourth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you she who prevaileth with knives the mistress of the world destroyer of the foes of the still heart who maketh the decree for the escape of the needy from evil hap is thy name the name of thy doorkeeper is nekau the osiris knew when he cometh to the fifth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you fire the lady of flames who inhaleth the supplications which are made to her who permitteth not thee to enter in is thy name the name of thy doorkeeper is henti reku the osiris knew when he cometh to the sixth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you lady of light the lady to whom abundant supplication is made the difference between her height and her breath is unknown the like of her hath never been found since the beginning there is a serpent thereupon whose size is not known it was born in the presence of the still heart is thy name the name of the doorkeeper is Simamti the osiris knew when he cometh to the seventh pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you robe which doth clothe the divine feeble one weeping for what it loveth and shrouding the body 
is thy name the name of the doorkeeper is akenti the osiris knew when he cometh to the eighth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you blazing fire the flame whereof cannot be quenched provided with tongues of flame which reach afar the slaughtering one the irresistible one through whom a man may not pass by reason of the hurt which she doeth is thy name the name of the doorkeeper is ku chet f the osiris knew when he cometh to the ninth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you she who is in the front the lady of strength quiet of heart who giveth birth to her lord whose girth is three hundred and fifty measures who sendeth forth rays like the uach stone of the south who raiseth up the divine form and clotheth the feeble one who giveth offerings to her lord every day is thy name the name of the doorkeeper is techeseth the osiris knew when he cometh to the tenth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of the god who guardeth you thou who art loud of voice who raisest up those who cry and who make supplication unto her whose voice is loud the terrible one the lady who is to be feared who destroyeth not that which is in her is thy name the name of the doorkeeper is second ur the osiris knew when he cometh to the eleventh pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of her who is within thee she who slaughtereth always the burner up of fiends mistress of the every pylon the lady to whom acclamation is made on the day of darkness is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the osiris knew when he cometh to the twelfth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of her who is within thee thou who invokest thy two lands who destroyest those who come with flashings and with fire the lady of splendour who hearkeneth unto the speech of her lord is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the osiris knew when he cometh to the thirteenth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of her who is within thee osiris bringeth his two hands over her and maketh the god hoppy that is the nile to send forth splendour out of his hidden places is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the osiris knew when he cometh to the fourteenth pylon of osiris saith i have made my way i know you and i know your name and i know the name of her who is within thee lady of might who danceth on the blood-red ones who keepeth the festival of haker on the day of the hearing of faults is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the fifteenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon the fiend red of hair and eyes who cometh forth by night and doth fetter the fiend in his lair may her hands be given to the still heart in his hour and may she advance and go forward is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the sixteenth pylon the osiris hero m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh forth to this pylon terrible one the lady of the rainstorm who planteth ruin in the souls of men the devourer of the dead bodies of mankind the orderer and producer and creator of slaughter is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the seventeenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh forth to this pylon hewer in pieces in blood a hobbit lady of hair is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the eighteenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon lover of the fire pure of slaughterings which she loveth 
cutter off of heads venerated one lady of the great house destroyer of fiends at eventide is thy name she hath the judgment of the feeble bandaged one the nineteenth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon dispenser of light during her period of life watcher of flames the lady of the strength and of the writings of the god ptah himself is thy name she hath the judgment of the bandages of paran or perhetch the twentieth pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon she who dwelleth within the cavern of her lord clother is her name she hideth what she hath created she taketh possession of hearts she swalloweth is thy name she hath the judgment of the bandages of paran or perhetch the twenty-first pylon the osiris heru m kebet triumphant saith when he cometh to this pylon knife which cutteth when its name is uttered and slayeth those who advance towards its flames is thy name she hath secret plots and counsels chapter one hundred and forty seven the first arit vignette ani and his wife thuthu approaching the first arit at the entrance of which sit three gods having the head of a hare of a serpent and of a crocodile respectively the name of the doorkeeper is seket hra ashtaru the name of the watcher is semeti the name of the herald is hak heru the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh unto the first day writ i am the mighty one who createth his own light i have come unto thee o osiris and purified from that which defileth thee i adore thee lead on name not the name of restau unto me homage to thee o osiris in thy might and in thy strength in restau rise up and conquer o osiris in abtu thou goest round about heaven thou sailest in the presence of ra thou lookest upon all the beings who have knowledge hail ra thou who circlest in the sky verily i say o osiris i am the spiritual body sa of the god and i say let me not be driven hence nor upon the wall of burning coals open the way and restow ease the pain of osiris embrace that which the balance hath weighed make a path for him in the great valley make light to be on the way of osiris the second day writ vignette and a writ guarded by three gods having the head of a lion of a man and of a dog respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is un hot the name of the watcher is seket ra the name of the herald is uset the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this a writ he sitteth to do his heart's desire and he weigheth words as the second of thoth the strength which protecteth thoth humbleth the hidden maat gods who feed upon maat throughout the years of their lives i make offerings at the moment when he maketh his way i pass on and enter upon the way grant thou that i may pass onwards and that i may gain sight of ra together with those who make offerings the third arit vignette an arit guarded by three gods having the head of a jackal the head of a dog and the head of a serpent respectively text the name of the doorkeepers is am hawatu ent pehui the name of the watcher is seris ra the name of the herald is Ea the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arit i am the hidden one in the great deep i am the judge of the rahui i have come and i have done away with the offensive thing which was upon osiris i am fastening the place whereon he shall stand which projecteth from the uret crown i have perfected matters in abtu i have opened the way in restau i have eased the pain which was in osiris i have made straight his standing-place and i have made his path he shineth in restau the fourth arit vignette an arit guarded by three gods having the head of a man of a hawk and of a lion respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is kesephra ashtakeru the name of the watcher is Saras tipu the name of the herald is kesef at 
the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arit i am the bull the son of the ancestress of osiris o grant ye that his father the lord of his godlike companions may bear witness for him i have weighed the guilty in judgment i have brought unto his nostrils the life which is everlasting i am the son of osiris i have made the way i have passed there over into neter kurt the fifth arit vignette an arit guarded by three gods having the head of a hawk of a man and of a snake respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is ankh f Mfent. the name of the watcher is shabu the name of the herald is teb ra ha keft the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arit i have brought unto thee the bones of thy jaws and restyle i have brought thee thy backbone in anu heliopolis gathering together its manifold parts therein i have driven back apep for thee i have spit upon the wounds which are in him i have made a path among you i am the ancient one among the gods i have made the offering of osiris i have avenged him in triumph gathering his bones and bringing together all his limbs the sixth arit vignette and arit guarded by three gods the first having the head of a jackal then the second and third the head of a dog text the name of the doorkeeper is atek tau kehak karu the name of the watcher is anhra the name of the herald is atis hra ari shi the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arit i have come daily i have come daily i have made my way i have passed along that which was created by anpu anubis i am the lord of the uret crown possessing words of magical power the avenger of maat i have avenged his eye i have delivered osiris and i have made the way the osiris ani passeth along with you in triumph the seventh arit vignette and arit guarded by three gods having the head of a hare of a lion and of a man respectively text the name of the doorkeeper is sekemet m tesusen the name of the watcher is ea mea keru the name of the herald is kesef kemi the osiris ani triumphant shall say when he cometh to this arit i have come unto thee o osiris who art cleansed of thine impurities thou goest round about heaven thou seest ra thou seest the beings who have knowledge hail only one behold thou art in the sectet boat as it goeth round about the horizon of heaven i speak what i will unto his spiritual body sa it waxeth strong and it cometh into being even as he spake thou meetest his face prosper thou for me all the ways which lead unto thee chapter one hundred and forty eight vignette a hall or shrine within which on the left ani stands before two tables of offerings adoring ra or osiris hawk-headed next are ranged seven kine and a bull each animal having offerings before it behind are four rudders emblematic of the cardinal points and on the extreme right are four triads of gods the speech of ani reads homage to thee o thou lord thou lord of right and truth the only one the lord of eternity and creator of everlastingness i have come unto thee o my lord ra i have made offerings of herbs unto the seven kine and unto their bull o ye who give cakes and ale unto the khus grant ye to my soul to be with you may osiris ani be born upon your thighs may he be like unto one of you for ever and for ever and may he become a khu in the beautiful amenti text the chapter of providing the deceased with food in the underworld the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief amenhetep triumphant saith homage to thee o thou that shinest from thy disc thou living soul who comest forth from the horizon the osiris nu knoweth thee and he knoweth thy name and he knoweth the name of thy seven kine and of the bull that belongeth unto them hail ye who give cakes and ale and splendour to the souls who are provided with food in the underworld grant ye cakes and ale unto the osiris nu provide ye him with food let him be in your following and let him be borne upon your thighs here follow the names of the seven kine and of their bull 
with the address to them by the deceased one het kau nebit er chur two akert kentet auset s three me kebetet sa netter four er mertu s tester cheni five kenna metem ank anuit six sec kemet ren s m abit s seven shinat pet tooth the set netter eight kat chai kawit hail ye cows and bull grant ye cakes and ale and offerings of food to the osiris nu and supply ye him with food and make him to be a perfect ku in the underworld here follow the addresses to the four rudders by the deceased one hail thou beautiful power thou beautiful rudder of the northern heaven two hail thou who revolvest thou pilot of the two lands thou beautiful rudder of the western heaven three hail thou shining one who dwellest in the temple wherein are the gods in visible forms thou beautiful rudder of the eastern heaven four hail thou who dwellest within the temple of the ruddy beings thou beautiful rudder of the southern heaven grant ye cakes and ale and offerings of food and splendour to the ku of the osiris nu grant ye unto him life and strength and health and abiding joy of heart upon earth and grant ye unto him triumph in the horizon of anu and in heaven and upon earth and in the underworld here follow the address to the four triads hail ye fathers of the gods hail ye mothers of the gods ye who are above the earth and who dwell in the underworld deliver ye the osiris nu from every obstacle of evil from every attack of evil from the cruel snare and from the slaughtering knives and from every wicked and evil thing whatsoever which ye could order to be done unto him by men and by gods and by the khus and by the dead on this day or on this night or in this month or in this half monthly festival or in this year or in any of the seasons thereof whatsoever rubric these words shall be said when ra appeareth over figures of the gods written or painted in colour upon a board and thou shalt place offerings and to chiff foul food before them cakes ale flesh feathered fowl and incense and they shall cause the deceased to possess sepulchral meals with ra and shall give him an abundance of food in the underworld and shall deliver him from every evil thing whatsoever and thou shalt not recite this book of un nefer in the presence of any person except thine own self and if this be done for the deceased ra shall be a rudder for him and shall be a strength protecting him and he shall make an end of all his enemies for him in the underworld and in heaven and upon earth and in every place wherever he may enter and he shall have abundance of food regularly and continually for ever chapter one hundred and forty nine the fourteen aats or divisions of sekhet aanru vignette the first aat the text the first aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief triumphant saith hail thou aat of amentet wherein a man liveth upon cakes and ale remove thy wigs when i come towards thee and behold the mighty god who dwelleth in thee hath bound up my bones and he hath established my members and the ahi the lord of hearts hath gathered together my bones and hath established the uret crown of tem upon my head and neheb kau hath established for me my head full full and established is the balance thou shalt have dominion among the gods o amsuket in yet the second aat the horizon text the second aat which is painted green the god therein is ra herukuti the osiris nu saith i am the mighty one of possessions in sekhet aaru hail thou sekhet aaru the walls of which are of iron the height of the wheat thereof is five cubits the ears thereof being two cubits long and the stalks three cubits the barley thereof is seven cubits in height the ears being three cubits long and the stalks four cubits and behold the khus each of whom therein is nine cubits in height reap the wheat and the barley side by side with heru kuti hamarchus i know the door which is in the middle of sekhet aaru where from ra cometh forth in the eastern part of heaven the southern portion thereof is in the lake of the karu fowl and the northern portion thereof is in the canal of the ray fowl 
in the place wherein ra saileth round about means of the winds which bear him along i am he who watcheth the leathers in the divine boat i am in the boat and i am he who doth navigate it without ceasing i know the two sycamore trees of turquoise from between which the god ra doth emerge when he setteth out upon his journey over the pillars of shu towards the door of the lord of the east wherefrom ra cometh forth i know the sekhet aaru of ra the wheat therein is five cubits in height the ears being two cubits long and the stalks three cubits the barley thereof is seven cubits in height the ears being three cubits long and the stalks four cubits and behold the coos therein who are nine cubits in height reap the wheat and the barley side by side with the divine souls of the east vignette the third aat which is called the aat of the coos text the third aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu triumphant saith hail thou aat of the coos where over none can sail and wherein are the coos the fire thereof is blazing with flame hail thou aat of coos your faces are in the land make clear your ways and purify ye your aats and what hath been decreed by osiris do ye for me for ever i am the mighty one of the tesher crown which is on the brow of the god of light and which maintaineth in life the two lands and the men and women thereof by means of the flame of its mouth the god ra hath been delivered from the fiend apep vignette the fourth aat wherein is inscribed the double mountain doubly high and doubly great text the fourth aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu triumphant saith hail thou who art chief of the hidden aat hail thou one who art lofty and great who dwellest in the underworld over whom the heaven spreadeth itself thou art three hundred measures in length and two hundred and thirty measures in width and thou hast over thee a serpent the name of which is sati temui he is seventy cubits in length and he liveth by slaughtering the khus and the dead who are in the underworld i stand up in thy enclosure o maa i sail round about and i see the way which leadeth unto thee i gather myself together to thee i am the man and clothe thy head i am strong and i have become strong i am the god who is mighty in enchantments my two eyes have been given to me and i am glorious therewith who art thou o ku that goest upon thy belly and whose twofold strength is upon thy mountain grant thou unto me that i may go unto thee and that thy twofold strength may be with me i lift up myself by thy twofold strength i have come and i have vanquished the akriu serpent of ra his peace is to me at eventide i revolve in the heavens and thou art in the mountain valley a decree hath been made concerning thee upon earth and yet the fifth aat text the fifth aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu triumphant saith hail thou aat of the khus wherever none may pass the khus who are therein have thighs seven cubits long and they live upon the shades of the weak and helpless hail thou aat of the khus open ye unto me your ways so that i may pass by you and may go on to the beautiful amentet according to that which osiris the khu the lord of khus hath decreed i live by reason of my splendour i perform every festival of the month and i observe rightly the festival of the half months i revolve and the eye of horus is under my hand in the following of thoth the mouth of every god and of every dead person devoureth mine enemy this day and he falleth down at the block of slaughter vignette the sixth aat with a fish inside it text the sixth aat which is to be painted green the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou amahet which art holy unto the gods and art hidden unto the khus and art baleful unto the dead the name of the god who dwelleth therein is seker at homage to thee o amahet i have come to see the gods who dwell in thee uncover your faces and lay down your head-dresses when ye meet me for behold i am a mighty god among you and i have come to prepare provisions for you let not seker at have dominion over me let not the divine slaughterers come after me let not the murderous fiends come after me but let me live upon sepulchral offerings among you vignette the seventh aat text the seventh aat which is to be painted green the osiris triumphant saith 
hail thou city of assis which art remote from sight and the fire of which is in flame there is a serpent within thee and his name is rarek the length of his backbone is seven cubits and he liveth upon the khus and he annihilateth their glorious strength get thee back o rarek who dwellest in the city of assis who devourest with thy mouth and from whose eyes evil looks pour forth let thy bones be broken and let thy emissions be impotent come thou not against me and let not thy emissions come upon me let thy poison fall and lie dead upon the earth and let thy two lips be in thy den the ka of the serpent hath fallen and conversely i have gained glorious strength the mouthet that is lynx hath cut off thy head vignette the eighth aat text the eighth aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu triumphant saith hail ha hetep great and mighty one of the canal none can obtain the mastery over the water which is therein it is mightily to be feared and the roarings which are therein are mighty the name of the god therein is ka ha hetep and he guardeth it gladly so that none may enter i am the inur bird which is above the thigh of the god anchor s and i have brought the possessions of the earth to the god tem and i make strong and fortify the mariners of ra i have set the terror of myself in the divine lords of the shrine and i have set the awe of me in the divine lords of things therefore i shall not be carried off to the slaughter block of those who would willingly destroy me i am the guide of the northern horizon and i know the god who is therein and yet the ninth aat a crocodile thrusting his snout into a vase called akesi text the ninth aat which is to be painted yellow the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou city akesi which are hidden from the gods the khus know the name of which the gods are afraid none can enter therein and none can come forth therefrom except that holy god who dwelleth in his egg and who putteth his fear into the gods and the terror of himself into the khus the opening into the city is of fire and the winds thereof destroy both nostrils and mouths and the god hath made it for those who follow willingly in his train none can breathe the winds thereof except that holy god who dwelleth in his egg he hath made the city so that he may dwell therein at will and none can enter therein except on the day of great transformations homage to thee o thou holy god who dwellest in thine egg i have come unto thee that i may be among those who follow thee let me come forth from the city of akesi let me enter therein let the gates thereof be opened unto me let me breathe the air which is therein and let me have possession of the offerings thereof vignette the tenth aat a man holding a knife in each hand standing before above him is a serpent text the tenth aat which is to be painted yellow the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou city of the gods kahu who take possession of the khus and gain the mastery over the shades kaibit who devour vigorous strength and consume filth when their eyes see and who guard not the earth hail ye who dwell in your aats cast yourselves upon your bellies when i pass by you my glorious strength shall not be taken away and none shall gain the mastery over my shade for i am a divine hawk offerings of anti unguent have been made ready by me incense hath been offered by me animals have been slaughtered by me isis hath made offerings to my head nephthys is behind me and a road hath been made clear for me hail serpent neu bull of nut neheb cow i have come unto you o gods deliver ye me and grant ye unto me my glorious strength for ever vignette the eleventh aat wherein stands a jackal-headed god holding a knife text the eleventh aat which is to be painted green the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou city which art in the underworld netter kirk which coverest over the body and gainest the mastery over the khus none can come forth therefrom and none can enter therein by reason of fear of the opposing power which is therein now the gods who are therein look upon it in iron and the dead who are therein look upon it in his slaughterings except the gods who live therein in his mystery of the khus 
hail thou city of atu grant thou unto me that i may pass on for i am the god who is mighty of enchantments by reason of the knife which came forth from the god suti i have my feet and legs for ever i rise like ra i am strong through the eye of horus my heart is lifted up after it was brought low i am glorious in heaven and i am mighty upon earth i fly like a hawk and i cackle like the smen goose and it hath been given to me to alight at the thigh of the lake i stand up upon it i sit down upon it i rise up like a god i eat of the food of sekti hetep and i go onwards to the domain of the starry gods the double doors of maat are opened unto me and the double doors of the land of the great deep are unbolted before me i set up a ladder to heaven among the gods and i am a divine being among them i speak with the voice of the smen goose to which the gods listen and my speech and my voice are those of the star sept sothis vignette the twelfth aat called ashchetet m ament text the twelfth aat which is to be painted green the osiris nu triumphant saith hail thou aat of the city of unt at the head of ristau the flame of which is a blazing fire the gods are unable to approach thee and the khus are unable to gather together therein by reason of the uri eye which would blot out their names hail thou aat of unt i am in the form of the mighty god who dwelleth among the khus and who dwelleth in thee i am among the stars that never fail within thee i shall never fail and my name shall never fail hail odour of the god say they the gods who dwell in the aat of unt i shall be with you i shall live with you o ye gods who dwell in the aat of unt love ye me more than your own gods for i shall be with you for ever in the presence of the followers of the great god vignette the thirteenth aat called who art ent mu behind it stands the hippopotamus habech re f with the right forepaw resting on a beetle text the thirteenth aat which is to be painted green the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou aat wherein the khus gain no mastery thy waters are of fire and the streams which are in thee burn with fire and thy flame is a blazing fire those who are there and who wish to drink thy waters to quench their thirst cannot do so by reason of the mighty dread which possesseth them and by reason of the great terror which it causeth them to have the gods and the khus look upon the waters thereof and retreat without having quenched their thirst and their hearts are not set at rest and though they wish to enter into them they cannot do so the stream is filled with reeds even as the stream which floweth from the issues which come forth from osiris i have gained the mastery over the waters thereof i have drunk from the canal thereof like the god who dwelleth in the aat of the waters and who is the guardian thereof the gods are more afraid to drink the waters thereof than are the khus and they retreat therefrom homage to thee o their god who dwellest in the aat of the waters i have come unto thee grant thou that i may gain power over the waters thereof and that i may drink from the canal thereof even as thou dost allow to drink the great god from whom cometh hap that is the nile who maketh green things to come into being who maketh to grow the things which grow who maketh vigorous young plants and herbs and who also giveth to the gods gifts which proceed from him and offerings and grant thou that i may come to hap and that i may gain power over young plants and herbs for i am the son of thy body for ever vignette the fourteenth aat a range of mountains called field of ker abba a man holding a libation vase the god anubis a hawk with a disc a lion god a man setting the tushur crown upon a god a hippopotamus a crocodile and a worm text the fourteenth aat which is to be painted yellow the osiris new triumphant saith hail thou aat of ker abba which turneth back hap at tatu grant thou that hap may come abundant in grain as he advanceth for the mouth of those who eat and giving divine offerings to the gods and sepulchral meals for the khus there is a serpent in the double kirti of abu elephantine at the mouth of hap and he cometh with water and he standeth up upon the thigh of karaba with his divine sovereign princes at the head of the canal and seeth in his hour which is the silence of the night hail ye gods of karaba and ye sovereign princes at the head of the canal thereof let your pools be open to me let your streams be open to me let me gain power over the water 
let me rest on the canal let me eat grain let me be satisfied with your food let me lift myself up let my heart be great even as is that of the god who dwelleth in Karaba. let offerings like unto yours be made to me let me not be destroyed by the issues which come forth from osiris and let me not be withdrawn therefrom for ever here endeth the book in peace chapter one hundred and fifty one hundred and fifty four serpents emblematic probably of the cardinal points of the egyptian and book of the dead Aots. by e a wallace Aru, the god wherein is one hundred and fifty ra amarcus beneath the brow of fire chamber, the god wherein is ra upon a beer ah, lies the mummy of, of the altars, deceased three, and on one mountain, side is her soul high, in the form four, of a human-headed Aon, bird Five, the god Anubis, the god where Edith stands on the Ramu, other side, bending fish. over the mummy. Six, at the head Aset, of the bier kneels Nephthys, seven, and at the foot Aset, Isis. The, god wherein is the walls which Bapet, are here depicted as heaven. lying flat on the ground Eight, are the ornamented the with emblems Kahu. and texts. Nine, and at each Atu, corner the stands gods one of the gods of the cardinal Sokus. points. Two, Ten, Ush, Unt, the god to you figures, two souls of flame, etc. Destroyer of souls. Fill up the remaining Eleven, spaces. The, of the waters, the god wherein is text, text thy right uh, eye is like the sect Twelve, of boat. Aot, thy left Karaba, eye the is like the eight hat boat. Nile. Thine eyebrows are like on the of the lake thy of flames, fingers are like the fire. Thy hair is like Patasi, the god wherein is Maya. They make a fair way for thee, and they smite the down for thee the fiends of Seth. The gods wherein live upon cakes. And I have come to protect thee, O Osiris, with the north wind, which cometh forth from ten. I have strengthened for thee thy throat. I have caused thee to be with the god, and I have placed all thine enemies under thy feet. Nephthys saith, I go round about behind my sister, Osiris Mut-hetep. I have come that I may protect thee, and my strength which protecteth shall be behind thee for ever and ever. The god Ra hearkeneth unto thy cry. Thou, O daughter of Hathor, art made to triumph. Thy head shall never be taken away from thee, and thou shalt be made to rise up in peace. A deity saith, if any would come to fetter thee i will not allow him to do so if any would come to hurl missiles at thee i will not allow him to do so but i will fetter thee and i will hurl missiles at thee and i am protecting thee o mut hetep triumphant the tet saith o thou that comest quickly i turn back thy steps o kepra and i illumine thy hidden place i stand behind the tet on the day of turning back slaughters and i am protecting thee o mut hetep triumphant before osiris the flame saith i surround with sand the hidden tomb and drive away him that would attack it i lighten the funeral mountain i cast light thereon i traverse the way and i protect mut hetep triumphant anubis who is at the head of the divine hall and who dwelleth upon his mountain the lord of tachesert saith i have come to protect osiris mut hetep triumphant the living soul of mut hetep saith let ra be adored in heaven when he setteth on the western horizon of heaven the living soul and the perfect khu of mut hetep triumphant before osiris say adored be ra when he riseth in the eastern horizon of heaven the lady of the house mut hetep saith hail shabti figure if i be condemned or if there be allotted to me any work to do in the underworld behold let opposition be set aside such as is done by a man in his turn namely sowing the fields and filling the channels with water and bringing the sand of the west to the east o oh, be thou present when i call upon thee mesta saith i am thy daughter o mut hetep and i have come to protect thee i make thy house to germinate and to be established firmly according to what ptah hath commanded and according to what ra hath commanded hapi saith i have come to protect thee o osiris mut hetep i bind up for thee thy head and thy members i smite down thine enemies for thee beneath thee and i give thee thy head for ever saith to a mount f i am thy daughter who loveth thee o mut hetep triumphant for ever i have come and i have avenged thee o my father osiris upon him that did evil unto thee and i have brought him under thy feet 
keb senu f i am keb senu f and i have come that i may protect mut hetep i have collected into a whole body for thee thy bones i have gathered together for thee thy members i have brought thy heart and i do set it upon its seat within thy body and i make thy house to germinate after thee chapter one hundred and fifty one vignette the god anpu anubis standing by the mummy of the deceased which lies on a bier text the god anpu who dwelleth in the city of embalmment the governor of the divine house placeth his two hands upon the lord of life of nebseni the scribe and draughtsman of the temple of ptah the lord of piety the son of the scribe and designer thena triumphant born of the lady of the house mut resh triumphant and he furnisheth him with the things which belong to him homage to thee o happy one divine lord who art endowed with the sight of the uchat ptah seker hath bound thee up ampu hath exalted thee and shu hath caused thee to be lifted up o face of beauty thou divine prince of eternity thou hast thine eye o scribe nebseni thou lord of piety and beautiful it is thy right eye is in the sectet boat and thy left eye is in the atet boat and thine eyebrows are of fair appearance in the presence of the company of the gods thy brow is in the protection of anpu and the back of thy head o beautiful one is before the holy hawk thy fingers are established with written works in the presence of the lord of kemenu thoth who hath given to me the speech of the sacred books thy hair is beautiful before ptah seker and thou o scribe nebseni thou lord of piety art beautiful before the great company of the gods the great god looketh upon thee and he leadeth thee along the path of happiness and sepulchral meals are bestowed upon thee he overthroweth for thee all thine enemies and setteth them under thee in the presence of the great company of the gods who dwell in the mighty house of the aged one which is in anu heliopolis chapter one hundred and fifty two vignette the deceased standing before a house text the chapter of building a house upon the earth the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant saith hail seb rejoiceth for the osiris nu standeth up over his body and he goeth round about among those who follow ra to men and to the gods who have given birth to their own fathers i have ascribed praise and they have sight the goddess sesheta hath brought the god nebit and ampu anubis hath called unto the osiris nu to build a house on the earth its foundation is in anu heliopolis and the circuit thereof reacheth to kuraba the shrine is like that of the god sekem who dwelleth in sekem according to that which i have written for the renewal thereof and men and women bring offerings and libations and ministrants and osiris saith unto the gods who are in his following and who journey along behold ye the house which hath been built for a khu who is provided with all his attributes who cometh daily to renew himself among you o hold ye him in awe and ascribe ye unto him praises and let him be a favoured being with you look ye to what i have done and to what i have said and osiris saith concerning the god let him come daily to renew himself among you and let beasts for sacrifice be brought unto him by the south wind and let grain be brought unto him by the north wind and let barley be brought unto him from the ends of the earth the mouth of osiris hath ordered this for me drawing onward may he go round about on his left hand may he place himself on his right hand and may he see men and the gods and the khus and the dead drawing him along with praises and cries of joy and may he be a favoured being with them chapter one hundred and fifty three a vignette a net fastened at one end to ground below or near water by means of a stake driven through a coil of rope which is drawn tight by the deceased text the chapter of coming forth from the net the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith hail thou god who lookest behind thee thou god who hast gained the mastery over thine heart i go a-fishing with the cordage of the uniter of the earth and of him that maketh a way through the earth 
hail ye fishers who have given birth to your own fathers who lay snares with your nets and who go round about in the chambers of the waters take ye not me in the net wherewith ye ensnared the helpless fiends and rope me not in with the rope wherewith ye roped in the abominable earth followers which had its wooden frame reaching unto heaven and its weighted parts upon the earth let me come forth that is escape from the pegs thereof let me rejoice along with the god of the hanu boat let me come forth from its bars let me rise up like the god sebek and let me make a flight to you away from the snare of the fowler whose fingers are hidden i know the pole with curved ends which is in it mighty finger of sekri is its name i know the mechas which is in it thigh of the god nemu is its name i know the piece of wood which openeth in it hand of isis is its name i know the knife of slaughter which is in it slaughtering knife wherewith isis cut off a piece of flesh from horus is its name i know the names of the frame and weights which are in it leg and thigh of the double lion god are their names i know the name of the cordage wherewith it snareth living things vigor of tem is its name i know the name of the snarers who lay snares therewith akuru gods ancestors of the akabiu gods are their names i know the names of its hands two hands of the great god the lord who heareth speech in anu heliopolis on the night of the festival of the half month in the temple of the moon god are their names i know the name of the thigh which surroundeth it at its upper part thigh of iron whereupon the gods stand is its name i know the name of the superintendent who receiveth the fish therefrom knife and vessel of the superintendent of the god is his name i know the name of the table whereat he placeth himself table of horus whereat he sitteth in solitude in the darkness and is not seen the abjects fear him and those therein ascribe unto him praises is its name i have come and i am crowned or have risen like the mighty god who leadeth along the earth and i have gone down to the earth in the two great boats and behold the mighty one hath placed me within the temple of the mighty god i have come along with the snarer my wooden tools a writ are with me my knife is with me and my hacking knife is with me i come forth and i go round about and i snare with the net i know the name of the pole with curved ends temen ru flowing from the great finger of osiris is its name i know the name of the two pieces of wood which hold fast hooks of the ancestors of ra is the name of one and hook of the ancestor of hathor is the name of the other i even i know the cords which are on the pole with curved ends cords of the lord of mankind is their name i know the name of the table hand of isis is its name i know the name of its ropes rope of the god the firstborn is their name i know the name of the cordage cordage of the day is its name i know the names of the fowlers and of the fishermen akuru gods ancestors of ra is their name i know the names of the tamamu ancestors of seb is their name i have brought unto thee that which thou eatest and i have brought that which i eat and thou eatest that which seb eateth with osiris hail thou god whose face is behind him thou god who hast gained the mastery over his heart thou fisher and fowler of the opener of the earth hail ye fishers who have given birth to your own fathers and who lay snares within the city of nefer sent take ye me not into your net and snare ye me not with the snares wherewith ye ensnared the helpless fiends and wherewith ye caught the abominable earth followers for i know the net i know the upper framework and the lower heavy parts thereof behold me then for i have come i have my pole with curved ends with me i have my mechas with me i have my table with me and i have my slaughtering knife with me i have come and i have entered in and i have myself pressed forward know ye that i even i know the name of the snarer of or that which snareth thou in his place i have smitten it i have opened it out i have struck it and i have set it upon its seat now the mechas which is with me is the thigh of the god nemu and the pole with curved ends which is with me is the finger of sekeri and the table which is with me is the hand of isis and the slaughtering knife which is with me is the slaughtering knife of the god nemu o grant that i may come o grant then that i may sit in the boat of ra 
let me sail forth on the lake of testes towards the northern heaven let me do as do they who sing when they sing praises of my ka and let me live as do they there the osiris nu triumphant cometh forth upon your ladder which ra hath made for him and horus and suti hold him fast by his hand in the saite recension the following rubric is added to this chapter this chapter shall be recited over a figure of the deceased which shall be put in a boat and behold thou shalt make a sectet boat on his right side and a metet boat on his left and let them bring offerings of cakes and of ale and of all kinds of fair things on the day of the birth of osiris the soul of him whom these things have been given shall live for ever and he shall not die a second time chapter one hundred and fifty three b vignette a net full of fish being drawn together by three dog-headed apes text the chapter of coming forth from the catcher of the fish the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief triumphant saith hail ye who lay snares and ye who work the nets and ye who are fishers hail ye who have given birth to your own fathers know ye that i know the name of the great and mighty net anket that is clincher is its name know ye that i know the name of its cordage rut that is vigor of isis is its name know ye that i know the name of the mehes thigh of tem is its name know ye that i know the name of its pole with curved ends finger of nemu is its name know ye that i know the name of its table hook of ptah is its name know ye that i know the name of its slaughtering knife chopper of isis is its name know ye that i know the name of its weights iron in heaven is their name know ye that i know the name of its rushes feathers or hair of the hawk is their name know ye that i know the name of the fishers ape is their name know ye that i know the name of the thigh thigh whereon standeth the temple of the moon is its name know ye that i know the name of the fowler prince mighty one who sitteth on the eastern side of heaven is his name i have not eaten o great divine one behold the great divine one hath given me drink i have not seated myself upon my thighs in the waters but i eat and i satisfy myself with food before him the seeds of death are in my body i am neka i am ra coming forth from nu the divine soul of the god i create the god hue and wrong is the thing which i abominate i am osiris the maker of maat whereon ra doth live each and every day i am invoked by the name of bull and i am addressed among the company of the gods by the name of neck i create mine own self along with nu in my name of kapera whereby i create myself each and every day i am the god of divine splendour and i rise up as ra the lord of the east life is given unto me through his comings forth therefrom i have come into heaven and i embrace my seat which is in the east with the children of the princes who dwell in their fields and i have delivered her that brought me forth in peace i eat like the god shu i satisfy myself with food like the god shu i ease myself like the god shu the divine kings of the north and south are with me the god kensu is with me and those who bind up their heads are with me embrace ye then the flame in the land of the multitude chapter one hundred and fifty four vignette this chapter has no vignette in the theban recension in the saite recension the mummy of the deceased is seen lying upon a bier with the sun shining upon it text the chapter of not letting the body perish the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief triumphant saith homage to thee o my divine father osiris i came to embalm thee do thou embalm these my members for i would not perish and come to an end but would be even like unto my divine father capera the divine type of him that never saw corruption come then make strong my breath then o lord of the winds who dost magnify those divine beings who are like unto himself establish me doubly then and fashion me strongly o lord of the funeral chest grant thou that i may enter into the land of everlastingness according to that which was done for thee along with thy father tem whose body never saw corruption and who is the being who never saw corruption i have never done that which thou hatest nay i have cried out among those who love thy ka 
let not my body become worms but deliver me as thou didst thyself i pray thee let me not fall into rottenness even as thou dost permit every god and every goddess and every animal and every reptile to seek corruption when the soul hath gone forth from them after their death and when the soul departeth or perisheth a man seeth corruption and the bones of his body rot and become holy stinkingness the members decay piecemeal the bones crumble into a helpless mass and the flesh becometh beaded liquid and he becometh a brother unto the decay which cometh upon him and he turneth into multitudes of worms and he becometh altogether worms and an end is made of him and he perisheth in the sight of the god shu even as doth every god and every goddess and every feathered fowl and every fish and every creeping thing and every reptile and every animal and every thing whatsoever therefore shall they fall on their bellies when they recognize me and behold the fear of me shall terrify them and thus likewise shall it be with every being after death whether it be animal or bird or fish or worm or reptile let life come from its death and let not decay caused by any reptile make an end of me and let them not come against me in their various forms do not thou give me over unto that slaughterer who dwelleth in his torture chamber who killeth the members and maketh them rot being himself hidden who worketh destruction upon many dead bodies and liveth by slaughter let me live and perform his message and let me do that which is commanded by him give me not over unto his fingers let him not gain the mastery over me for i am under thy command o lord of the gods homage to thee o my divine father osiris thou hast thy being with thy members thou didst not decay thou didst not become worms thou didst not diminish thou didst not become corruption thou didst not putrefy and thou didst not turn into worms i am the god capera and my members shall have an everlasting existence i shall not decay i shall not rot i shall not putrefy i shall not turn into worms and i shall not see corruption before the eye of the god shu i shall have my being i shall have my being i shall live i shall live i shall germinate i shall germinate i shall germinate i shall wake up in peace i shall not putrefy my intestines shall not perish i shall not suffer injury mine eye shall not decay the form of my visage shall not disappear mine ear shall not become deaf my head shall not be separated from my neck my tongue shall not be carried away my hair shall not be cut off mine eyebrows shall not be shaved off and no baleful injury shall come upon me my body shall be established and it shall neither fall into ruin nor be destroyed on this earth chapter one hundred and fifty five vignette a tet text the chapter of a tet of gold the osiris nu the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief saith rise up thou o osiris thou hast thy backbone o still heart thou hast the ligatures of thy neck and back o still heart place thou thyself upon thy base i put water beneath thee and i bring unto thee a tet of gold that thou mayest rejoice therein rubric this chapter shall be recited over a tet of gold set in a plinth of sycamore wood which hath been steeped in water and uncum flowers and it shall be placed at the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral if this amulet be placed at his neck he shall become a perfect coup in the underworld and at the new year festivals he shall be like those who are in the following of osiris continually and for ever chapter one hundred and fifty six vignette a buckle text the chapter of a buckle of carnelian the osiris knew the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief saith may the blood of isis and the power of isis and the enchantments of isis be powers to protect this mighty one and to guard him from him that would do unto him anything which he abominated rubric this chapter shall be said over a buckle of carnelian which hath been steeped in water of uncomy flowers and set in a plinth of sycamore wood and it shall be placed at the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral if these things be done for him the powers of isis shall protect his limbs and horus the son of isis shall rejoice in him when he seeth him and there shall be no hidden places on his path and one hand shall be towards heaven and one hand shall be towards earth regularly and continually thou shalt not let any person who is with thee see it chapter one hundred and fifty seven vignette a vulture with outstretched wings holding the symbol of life in each talon text the chapter of the vulture of gold which is to be placed at the neck of the deceased the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith 
isis cometh and hovereth over the city and she goeth about seeking the secret habitations of horus as he emergeth from his papyrus swamps and she lifteth up his shoulder which is in evil case he is made one of the company in the divine boat and the sovereignty of the whole world is decreed for him he hath warred mightily and he maketh his deeds to be remembered he hath made fear of him to exist and awe of him to have its being his mother the mighty lady protecteth him and she hath transferred her power to horus rubric this chapter shall be set over a vulture of gold whereupon it hath been inscribed and thou shalt place the vulture on the neck to protect the perfect deceased one on the day of the funeral continually and regularly chapter one hundred and fifty eight vignette a collar text the chapter of a collar of gold which shall be placed at the neck of the deceased the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith o my father my brother my mother isis i am unswathed and i see i am one of those who are unswathed and who see the gods said rubric this chapter shall be set over a collar of gold whereon it hath been engraved and the collar shall be placed on the neck of the deceased on the day of the funeral chapter one hundred and fifty nine vignette the uach amulet text the chapter of the uach amulet made of mother of emerald which shall be placed at the neck of the deceased the osiris alf ankh triumphant saith hail thou who comest forth daily from the temple of the god the mighty lady speaketh and she goeth round about in the gate of the double house and she taketh possession of the might of her father that is to say the sahu who is the bull of the goddess renanet she taketh those who are in her following and she maketh an opportunity for those the opportunity of the door rubric this chapter shall be set over an uach of mother of emerald whereupon it hath been inscribed and the uach shall be placed on the neck of the deceased chapter one hundred and sixty vignette thoth the great god giving an uach amulet of mother of emerald to the deceased text the chapter of giving an uach of mother of emerald to the scribe nebseni triumphant who saith i am the uach of the mother of emerald which cannot be injured and which the hand of thoth adoreth injury is a thing which i abominate it is in sound state and i am in sound state it is not injured and i am not injured it is not worn away and i am not worn away the words of thoth are at thy back o thou who comest in peace o divine prince of anu heliopolis thou mighty god who dwellest in the city of pe the god shu advanceth to him and findeth him in the city of shenmu in his name neshem that is mother of emerald he maketh his place in the fortress of the mighty god the god tem resteth upon his eye and his members shall not suffer injury End of chapters one hundred and fifty one through one hundred and sixty